it's been a tough road for Battlefront 2. It started out as a so-called pay-to-win game with microtransactions affecting progression. The server has suffered from major lag issues. We've had heroes with base abilities that are way too strong hitting through walls. And currently we have a broken weapon that everyone is using. Yes, Battlefront has had a few problems along the way, but the main problem I have had, and I think most players have had, is the lack of communication. As it's been said many times before, updates can take some time to put into the game, especially if they contain large new maps or are hard to animate characters. The problem is we are not told when they will be put into the game, or frankly, if they are coming. For months now, players have been expecting a Clone Wars season, and now with the Hoth skin challenges, it looks like we won't be getting Clone Wars for Season 2. Instead, we'll be getting something that hardly anyone wants currently, and that's a Han Solo season based on the new film that comes out in May. However, this is still all guesswork as the devs haven't really told us anything and we haven't got a roadmap. EA made a post on their website saying change will be a constant in Battlefront 2, but instead we have this stagnation period going on and on. So why? Why are the developers not talking to their player base? Finally, we have an answer, and this comes from Matt Everett, otherwise known as Sledgehammer70. He was the community manager for DICE until he recently quit, and basically his job as I understand it was to keep the players informed. He couldn't do his job, not because he didn't want to, but because of a silly rule. Matt wrote on Twitter in reply to a question saying, Because of being a publicly traded company, EA only reveals specific details on what is coming within that quarter. As mentioned earlier, our progression update is coming and we have a massive amount of detail coming for that. So let's just focus on the first half of that message. Because of being a publicly traded company, EA only reveals specific details on what is coming in that quarter. Now there are many advantages to being a public traded company, but one of the disadvantages is that, and this is taken from the wiki, many stock exchanges require that publicly traded companies have their accounts regularly audited by outside auditors, and then publish the accounts to their shareholders. Besides this cost, this may make useful information available to competitors. So it would seem in an effort to protect themselves, EA is holding back information and not allowing the developers to communicate with the players until they are in that quarter. What does that mean for us? Well, basically, we have to wait long periods of time for information about changes that will occur in the next quarter. I believe this quarter ends on March 31st and the next quarter is in April, meaning all major details on changes coming after April will be revealed near that time. That pretty much means, as expected, we will have to wait until at least the end of March to get any big news. Matt Everett also said yesterday that he could only communicate what information was given or approved. In being honest, he said, This sort of thing was a factor in why I am leaving. You can see why Matt is leaving. As community manager, he was meant to be able to communicate things with us, answer our questions. But with EA only allowing him to say certain things and keeping him in the dark a lot of the time, he just couldn't do the job he wanted to do. But anyway guys, that's why we aren't getting the information we want. Focusing on the second part of Matt's reply now, the more positive part, he said our progression update is coming and we have a massive amount of detail coming for that. I know recently Game Changers were contacted and told about something to do with Battlefront 2, so they may have got to see how this new system will work. Sadly, I'm not a Game Changer, but keep your eyes peeled as there should be some details in the near future. When will this new progression system be implemented, you might ask? Well, keep it in line with the next quarter, I'd expect to see it in April. So hopefully you guys have found this video useful. I know I wanted to understand what's been going on, so hopefully this helps you to all understand as well. Let me know what you think about this rule EA is going on about not sharing information before they are in that quarter. And with this sort of system in place, how do you think the game's going to do in the future? I look forward to reading all your comments. On another more positive note, we are over 9,000 subs on this channel now and heading for that 10k mark. So thanks for your continual support and a big welcome to all who have joined the channel. As always guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.